The NASCAR console gaming scene has seen its fair share of ups and downs. Currently, we're in a pretty low point, but at one point, this area of the NASCAR fandom was sky high. And I'm talking about the peak of NASCAR console gaming. The span from 2002 to 2004 were three of the best NASCAR console games came out. NASCAR Thunder 2003, 2004, and NASCAR 05 Chase for the Cup. So, let's get right into it. EA Sports, it's in the game. EA Sports, it's in the game. NASCAR Thunder 2003. Leading up to NASCAR Thunder 2003, the console gaming space had been improving more and more, and EA's series especially had. NASCAR Thunder 2002 was not the greatest, but it wasn't that bad either. There was clear improvements being made from game to game. And when NASCAR Thunder 2003 came out, well, it was generally seen as a great step up from the NASCAR Thunder 2002 reviews that many had. Most were very favorable of it. The game had increased uh, basically everything. It looked better, it raced better, and everything was more immersive. Season and career modes were more expansive at this point, and it was the point that you could have a lot of replayability with it. It's something that a lot of games even today aren't able to achieve, and the driving especially had improved immensely. It was clear that around it with some of the graphics and different add-ons that there was still improvement needed, but this was the first time in the EA series that you truly had a great game, something that many would be able to flock around. And it was probably the first time during the EA series that many of us knew we were in for something special. You could be somebody who was brand new, a kid, and still have a ton of fun with this game, and you could be a fan who is in their 20s, 30s, or up, and still have a lot of fun with it as well, being able to take it more serious. And the thing is, is that many of us probably would still have hope today if we got a game this good, and that hope would not be unfounded with what would come next. EA Sports, it's in the game. EA Sports, it's in the game. NASCAR Thunder 2004. With NASCAR Thunder 2004, most fans agree that we hit the absolute peak in NASCAR console gaming. This game today is still being played by YouTubers and fans alike, and you still see people doing career modes of it and season modes, and it's just as immersive as it was all the way back in its release year of 2003. It had the best racing of a NASCAR console game, the best AI, and the best game modes. Today, I will still go back and play this because if I go to a super speedway, yeah, it might be weak in a full-length race, but I can race a quarter or half-length race and still have a huge pack around me. And the AI itself will be able to race you at just about every track in a competitive and as long as you race it clean, a clean way. Yeah, there's the ally and rival modes that come during different races, basically treating you how you treat them, but in general, it doesn't really go overboard unless you've been egregious. Yeah, there's little problems with it, but still, it is a game that no other one has even scratched the surface of since then. And that's not even talking about the career mode which is still used today by many fans because of one, how long it is as a 20 year career mode, just like the last one and more to come possibly, as well as the fact that you were able to build up your own team over time. The sad part about this career mode is that in its current state, in its release year, it only was in one game. And the thing for me is that this game was the last that was released for EA with true competition with it, as Papyrus with NR2003 was against it. And I think that having that competition and not having an exclusive license really helped EA go above and beyond and put all the effort forth that they could. This was a time that EA had basically the best of the best. 
When you look back at the old Madden games, for instance, this is widely regarded as its peak. NASCAR's peak lined up perfectly with the peak of the game company EA, and honestly, this game was revolutionary in many ways. Possibly the biggest being, this was the first NASCAR console game that was widely released with true online play and modes, and that's something that in the future would become imperative for a good game. So NASCAR Thunder 04, for everything that many talk about it being good just on its own, was also good in the grand scheme of things by how it set the pathway for the future. EA Sports, it's in the game. I'm Joe Nemechek. EA Sports, it's in the game. NASCAR 2005, Chase for the Cup. And then you have NASCAR 05, Chase for the Cup. This was the first game ever with the Bush Series and Truck Series, something that would become a mainstay in NASCAR games for many years to come. And for those that didn't have it, it was honestly a mystery because this is now expected. This also added the chase and the fight to the top mode, which was basically career mode, except you would start in the lower series and have to work your way up. Again, another step in immersion that EA and other game companies since then just will not take. You also had basically the same general template as NASCAR Thunder 2004, but updated with the way that the chase in 2004 as a season was. Honestly, this game has a lot of the same good parts of it that NASCAR Thunder 04 has, but it isn't as widely regarded as being as good, even though it's probably right up there. It's a little more finicky when it comes to controls, but the AI race is about the same, the cars in general feel about the same, and just about everything of it is like it. If you're going to have a game that's generally seen for the most part, as a copy and paste, this is how you do it. You don't copy and paste a mediocre game and just ship it out saying it's brand new. This game was, I wouldn't say as good as Thunder 04 because there were some flaws, but it still was right up there and honestly deserves to be in the same breath as Thunder 03 and Thunder 04 as one of the best NASCAR games ever. And looking back at why these three games overall were the peak of NASCAR console gaming, well, there's a few things. They're everything that we want today. No, we do not want the graphics to be the same or anything like that, but I'm talking about for the time, everything was either where it should have been or ahead of its game. And that's what we want. We want a NASCAR game that works to basically be the best of the best. Not reactionary, not listening to fans, not celebrating adding basic things like a track map or a rear view mirror or stage racing. We want the best of the best and as customers, we deserve that. Everything we're used to today was put in this game. There was career modes, multiple different ways of it, as well as different series and online play as well as so many other different pieces. Everything that we expect from modern racing games for the most part was in this game, and everything that we have today in modern NASCAR games, for better or worse, was introduced in these three games. It truly was the best string of the best quality games that we NASCAR fans would ever get. And that's not even talking about NASCAR Racing 2003 or any of the other great games that came out around that time. It was a long buildup with a quick letdown, unfortunately. While NASCAR 06 and 07, I think, were generally pretty good, they weren't as good as these three games, and the fall that we would have from Grace would be swift by the end of the EA series. The Eutechnic series was a mixed bag, Heat series was just mediocre, and now, well, we know where we're at now. So, with all of that, I want to pass this on to you and ask, of these three games, which is your favorite and why? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're at it, leave a like on this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for more great and fun NASCAR content. Thank you so much to all my channel members for your continued support. And until next time, have a good one.
EA Sports. Go fuck yourself.